Hey guys, it's Heather the Crochet Witch. How are you guys doing today? This is Vlogmas Day 22. Welcome! <laughs> Which makes this December 22nd. Oh my gosh, Christmas is two days away. I can't believe that. <laughs> um, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Uh, I actually ended up telling a couple friends. They're like, Damon and I are doing Christmas in January already. Um, Seth knows he's getting some Christmas in January. <laughs> um, I did our gift exchange tonight with um, Cameron from work, my little brother that you guys have met before. And um, I have actually, he sent me some video of us, uh, of me opening his gift. Um, I didn't get video of him opening mine, but... My brain is dead. It is like four something in the morning. I usually do this much earlier. It's been a very long night. <laughs> and I have Maverick out there. He was he was dead asleep. I was waiting even until him and Otis had calmed down once I got home because David's at work tonight. So he's not out there to like keep the peace. Um, I had gotten them calm. They were adorably asleep together instead of going at it tonight or anything. And I was like, oh, I'm going to sneak in there and, and go... And um, I, um, I've explained this before, but I have to put Maverick in his crate because otherwise at some point the two of them are going to go at it while I'm uh, in here. And he, he like knew that I was coming in here, of course. So he's, you'll, you'll hear him occasionally pipe up. So I'll try to make it quick, but that's very distracting too. <laughs> so sorry. Um, I didn't, ah, uh, I didn't download the um the video that Cameron sent me anyway so if I remember I will put it at the end of this but right now the video is not it's uh it's in my messenger but not downloaded to my phone so there's a good chance I already know that by the time I edit this all together with the other little clips that I'll probably forget to download it I'll add it to tomorrow's if I don't remember <laughs> sorry Cameron <laughs> he got me the cutest stuff though like he got me two two little um keychains and one of them has this really cute saying about um being his sister and if he had a different one he'd punch her in the face and go find me <laughs> which i found extremely funny and then um he found matching keychains that are kind of like the best friend you know keychains they're puzzle pieces that fit together but mine says big sis and his says little bro <laughs> because for those of you that don't know or that may have not met cameron during like um vlogist when he was on video with us um he works with me and uh he's this little guy at work and uh we always we are not actually related but we call each other um uh, brother and sister so I'm his big sister and he's my little brother <laughs> so Cam and he's also the little guy that got me um the little guy he's my little brother that got me um Monopoly Stranger Things Monopoly for my birthday um, that is the same Cameron. So, uh, yeah. And then, um, for Christmas, I got him, he loves Transformers. So I got him, um, some in your cup carriers. It fits down in there and it lights up and it's got the Transformer faces on it. So it like illuminates your drinks. And I got him a set of those and I got him, um, sunglass holders for his visor because he like loves his car so I wanted to kind of deck out his car and he loves transformers so I wanted to make it transformer stuff um and it's a sunglasses clip for his visor to hold and it's got like an optimus prime face or whatever on it <laughs> but he super loved that so I was really happy that he liked his gifts so and I'm sure he's watching because he's a supportive little brother and he watches all my videos even though he doesn't crochet or do anything yarn related. So hi Cameron and I'm really glad that you liked your stuff and Merry Christmas. <laughs> um, but anyway, how are you guys doing? Are you guys ready for Christmas by the way? I just kind of babbled on about my random gift exchanges but are you guys ready? Have you gotten and given presents and stuff or like are you do you have a gift exchange scheduled are you doing christmas with the the family or friends or um hopefully you are uh oh, we're gonna do 
dinner at my in-laws again, which I love. Every time she asks, I'm like, yes, yes, we'd love to. <laughs> so I, I can never get enough of that feeling of like being at my grandma's and stuff and having like the big family dinner. I think it's wonderful. And it is like really the same feeling. I love it so much. Um, and I know that like there'll be a time when we won't have that. And I love like, I selfishly love reliving that right now and obviously not just reliving my grandparents but I do love sharing the time with my in-laws it's not just like oh you remind me of my family but they do like it's it's intertwined you know like I love them and they remind me of things that I love in the past so we're gonna do that and because David works that night too so like another reason um that my mother-in-law likes to do it is um because almost every holiday like that would have like dinners and stuff she's usually like well why don't you guys just come over and eat because um I would otherwise just be like home alone or home alone with the dogs now that we have the dogs um and then David would have to like rush right off to work so she's like we'll just have dinner here and then you guys can can do that and you know you don't have to deal with like cleaning up and all you know which is really really nice of her like we don't mind doing that kind of stuff and very nice of her. <laughs> um, let me stop babbling on because I can hear that I'm getting hoarse because it's like so late into my night. Um, today's advent calendar of goodness. We only have like what three of them, three or four of them, what three of them? Three of them? Something like that. Anyway, this is my Aldi candle. Look, I can hold it with one hand now. This thing was so heavy when I first got it. I couldn't even lift it into the car easily like Damon had to do it so that I didn't drop it. Um, <coughs> excuse me. It is uh, a votives, little votives. Um, they're pretty good size. They're not like teeny like tea lights or anything. They're, they're good size votives. Um, candles from Aldi. Uh, sold out really fast at my Aldi and apparently at a lot of you guys's too because um, you said you went looking for them and they had already sold out. So hopefully this is one that they remake next year because it seemed really popular. But it's a pretty nice box. Even. Um, it was a little pricey, but I mean, there there's, you know, 24 votive candles in here. And it was only like, I don't know, 30 or $40. It wasn't like crazy, crazy. Um, but it wasn't like one of the like $12, you know, advents either is, is what I'm saying. Um, we're on day 22, right? Didn't I say 22? <laughs> I remember at the beginning and then I forget, like I said. And the box is, uh, good inside, like it's designed inside too. So here's the picture inside. And that's, um, a window. Yes, it is a window with stars in the window. That's pretty. And it's this pretty green. Which already my brain wants to say pine. <clears throat> and uh, I'll rewarn everybody. Like I think I've basically said it every day so far. But my sniffer is not the best of sniffers. So like I don't smell things well. Something is something is wrong up in here. So like I certain smells I don't pick up on. Certain smells I just smell very wrong. <laughs> um, some things I smell just fine. So like I don't exactly know what the issue is. But... I definitely smell, well, I say definitely, my nose definitely thinks it smells something like foresty or maybe even, you know, like pine specifically. Maybe. I always want to say pine when I smell these, but, but like, honestly, <clears throat> since I sometimes can't differentiate, it could be eucalyptus again. But I would, I would say this time the green matches the, like, something foresty or, I think, I think. Let's find out. And I was wrong. I was very wrong. Peppermint snowdrop is what it is. And I'm surprised that I wasn't like, because I really don't like peppermint. But, you know, I don't like the taste of peppermint. I guess I don't. I guess I don't, I haven't stopped to think about how it actually, like, smells compared to, like, I'm trying to think of, like, 
the smell of a candy cane. I guess it doesn't bother me. And this isn't like super strong either. Hmm. I wonder what the snowdrop part is. Like a snowdrop is a flower, isn't it? Did we have another candle that was a snowdrop? Now I can't remember. I have them all, like the partially burned ones, so that I can go back and just like, I'm actually going to do it <clears throat> probably in order. Um, except for, I'm that person that likes to save the stuff that I like most for the end. So like probably the ones that I like the very best, I will skip those and save them for the end. Um, the ones that I like the least, I'll probably burn first also. But like otherwise, I'll probably just go down the, the row and uh, burn them as I go. Uh, we'll see how this burns. This does smell eucalyptus-y to me still though, like even out of, like even though now I know what it is. It just, I suppose it has that refreshy kind of mint taste, taste, smell. And eucalyptus kind of has that too. I feel like snowdrop is a flower though. I'm not going to spend any more time thinking about it, but we'll give it a smell when we burn it too, because candles do kind of smell a little bit different. Some of them do when you're burning them. So we shall see. Uh, but that's the candle. Anyway, peppermint snowdrop. If I don't love it when it's burning, I know Damon will like that. He likes peppermint everything. So mint everything. Um, so we have that. And then I feel like I'm missing something before the gift exchange. But I think I might just be really tired. Uh, we're going to go on to the gift exchange. Because you've been with me this long. Unless it's one of your first vlogmases with me, you um, already know. But I'm going to say again that I have been doing a 12 Days of Christmas gift exchange with Bella from Bella's Crochet Gifts and Samantha from Amethyst Craftworks. Um, both of these lovely ladies are linked down below and will continue to be all through vlogmas. Uh, even if I continue vlogmas after Christmas and do through like New Year's still, which I'm never sure each year if I'm going to do or not, I probably will. But, um, because I, I will, because I have more of my yarn advent calendar to do, right? <laughs> um, but anyway, they'll be linked down below even after I'm done opening their gifts. But I've been doing a gift exchange with them, 12 gifts from me to each of them and from them to me. Um, they have both been opening the gifts from me, so go to their channels and check them out. If not, if not to see like what I've got for them, then to check out their yarny content and just their lovely personalities that I know you guys will adore. They're both super sweet and super awesome ladies, so go check them out. Uh, also, headed into the new year, I haven't mentioned it in a couple days, so I'll say again, they're going to host the Movie Marquee um, videos with me. So you'll want to subscribe if you want to follow along so that when they do their drawings for the months, you can see what movies they will be drawing for the inspirations for our projects. So yeah, go check them out, subscribe, give them all the yarny love and uh, yeah, a good time will be had by all, right? So today, since I've been alternating, I talk with my hands a lot, especially when I'm tired. Sorry about that. Try to <laughs> um, since I've been alternating between um, like Bella Day 1, Samantha Day 1, then Bella Day 2, then Samantha Day 2, we are now on Samantha Day 11, right? Yeah. Yeah, because then Bella's last gift will be tomorrow and Samantha's last gift will be on Christmas Eve. Um, so we are on Samantha's Day 11 and in true Samantha fashion... She has actually made day 11 two gifts. And they're in this cute doggy paper. Look at them in their cute doggy sweaters and scarves. This one's got a cute little, he's a little dapper doggy in a bow tie. <laughs> he's so cute. Oh, I love them. If I were the, um, the saving wrapping paper kind of gal, I would definitely save this. And it is in this pretty, pretty bow. Which is about to come off. So, let us get this unwrapped here. Ooh, girl. How you 
tie this. <laughs> there it goes. I found it. I found the end. That was a really good bow, by the way, Samantha. I kind of feel bad destroying it. Probably should have just slipped it off and kept that bow. But, I mean, again, with the keeping of stuff, I'm not going to do that. But, <laughs> but know that that was beautifully, wonderfully tied. It's better than I could have ever done. This ribbon is beautiful, too. It's, like, shimmery. Red ribbon. Oh, I'm not going to get into that. Did I loosen it enough to just come off? Maybe. Maybe. Did I? Maybe. Is it coming off? It's off. We're out. Okay. Now. Oh, it is shaky. I didn't expect shaking. Which one of you is shaking? This one. And this one's flopping. Hmm. Which one should we open first? Shaking or flopping? Let's go with flop flopping. Yeah, let's go with flopping. These dogs are just so cute. Not as cute as you guys, though, Otis and Maverick. You're both adorable, I promise. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you did it. Okay. <laughs> This is awesome on multiple <laughs> levels. <laughs> this is crazy. I'll tell you why it's crazy. Okay, I'll tell you why it's crazy in a second. First and foremost, <laughs> this is a Stranger Things coloring book. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Roll for your life. Roll for your life with the Demogorgon on it. And here's the kids in the basement playing. Um, playing also. Playing D&D. &D. That's the word I was looking for. And <laughs> the Wrinkle Mania. <laughs> 11, um, season 4 when she whacked that bully chick. Oh my gosh. That was like hands down one of my favorite 11 moments ever. <laughs> And, ooh, there's the grandfather clock. That I, that has got to be one of the first things I color. Is, is that boring? <laughs> I want to color that really bad. Oh my gosh. There's the Demobats and the Demogorgon. Oh, oh there's Steve. And there's Dustin and um, Susie. I almost said Dustin and Susan. I guess, I mean, Susie. I wonder if her name is Susan. It could just be Susie. I don't know. And there's Eddie. I won't go through every page, I promise. I am going to look for Hopper, though, real quick. Ooh, there's Billy. And his Camaro. Oh, there's Hopper. Season 4 Hopper with his flamethrower. Yes. Ooh, there's lifeguard Billy. Okay, I did say I was only gonna look for Hopper. I am, I'm flipping through it, but I won't like insist on showing you every, oh, there's another Hopper. We have multiple Hoppers. Multiple Hoppers. Oh, this is so, oh my gosh. This is the best thing ever. <laughs> I won't go back to it because I showed you like a ton of pages out of it, but there's also my um, my favorite scene of Hopper ever is him in the pumpkin patch. Like that's even the my poster upstairs for season two is the alternate poster where Hopper's in the pumpkin patch that's in here. Let me open up. I, I think I, I'm, I might know why this is shaky, but we'll see. And then I'm going to tell you guys why else I was like. 
Why else are we laughing? It is a box. A box? 24 count of colored pencils. Woo! I have colored pencils. I feel like Damon's gonna try to steal these. Oh, I think I'm gonna open them. I said I was going to and then I failed. I'm going to make attempt number two. Okay, attempt number two. Scissors make everything better. Ooh, it's in bubble wrap. This is like the gift that keeps on giving, you guys. Yes. Slightly, slightly um, bubble wrappy unwrapping noise. Sorry. Ooh. Oh gosh, these are like bougie. Does anybody else say bougie? I don't know, like me and my friends say it. I don't know how popular of a word that is, but. They're like in a tin. They're like in a tin, in a bag, in um, bubble wrap, in a box. <laughs> These are very well protected, which is awesome. Okay, all for me to be clumsy and probably drop them. <laughs> Premium colored pencils, Amazon exclusive. That's actually pretty cool. I didn't know Amazon had like a branded, I guess it makes sense, but. And here's all the different colors. Oh, that's so awesome. And there's, oh, and there's more protection. There's also tape on the, like latching it shut. Just one, just one, okay. I feel like I'm going to be the klutz that opens it and they all go flying. <laughs> Just going to hold it very carefully. There it is. Oh, they're so pretty. Yay. Thank you, Samantha. And okay, so why? the reason that I was laughing... <laughs> Is, aside from the fact that this was awesome, I mean, I wouldn't laugh because it's awesome, but I was like, mm, you know, um, um, Samantha and I have been gifting each other different things, obviously, but different gifts have been like, okay, so she sent me <clears throat> hot chocolate and I didn't say it in my video because she hadn't yet opened her gifts or started opening them. But I sent her not only hot chocolate, but literally the same hot chocolate. The same hot chocolate. Um, the same flavors even. I just sent her um, a mint also because I don't, I don't like mint, but she does. So I sent her mint. Um, I feel like there was, there was other stuff that we sent that was like similar to. I can't remember what though. What else was there? Cause we were talking about it and now I, I can't, but it, and now we sent like, she just opened uh, the other day. I sent her um, a witch's, a witchcraft coloring book. And she sent me the stranger things coloring book. It's like besties. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you so much. I am going to love coloring this. Like, I know I'm going to be all... Oh my god, I have to get this perfect, but I think I can manage it. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Definitely could use the stress relief some days. Let me tell you what. So that's going to be, <laughs> that's going to come in handy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Samantha. I love it. And you know, I say this a lot. <clears throat> but I love you too. So thank you. And I love you, Bella. Like I know today's not the Bella gift day, but I just want to say it. I love you too. And I love, I love all you guys, but love you guys. So, um, I better move on before I get sappy because I will. Um, the other thing that I have is partially living in a box and partially living in here. This bag is made from material that was printed 
for me specifically and then made into this bag um, for my advent calendar. It is, hopefully you can see, but it is basically all of the different like stickers that you can find out there of the Stranger Things stickers. <laughs> uh, there's a bunch of different ones printed all over it in this fabric. And that was the inspiration for the advent calendar yarn. So we have been, it came late, so we are opening them late. So I know it's the 22nd, but we're opening day number seven. Um, and this, this is why I will be continuing on into the new year even, which will make Stranger New Year. So let us open day number seven. Now, again, they're not named. This is the inspiration for it. But I am trying very hard to figure out names for all of these. So I am pleading and begging and asking you guys for help. And sometimes you are really coming through. So let me give you a preview of today's yarn. Okay, that was your preview. Now let's want to see... Ooh, okay. It's not a lot of white this time, which is really good. Um, okay, so there is, before I give you full, you can see a lot of it back here too. There is, um, like this is a, a light, 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 like kind of lilac-y color. And then there is red speckling, all the, like a big stripe all down it. And there is just a little bit of white right here. But it's predominantly this really light lilac color and the red speckle. What do you guys think would be a good name for this one? Lilac and speckle. I mean, the speckle could definitely be blood um hmm I'm trying to remember all of Eleven's outfits like Nancy has that really light dress but it's not even it's not this color but it is like a light purple in season three that she wears pretty much through the whole season. I remember she definitely wore it to like the hospital when they fought the meat puppet. So maybe it could be like Nancy from season three. If she got covered in meat puppet too, <laughs> her and Jonathan when they were fighting it. Um... don't think even in season three that Erica had like a light purple or lilac-y color. I know she had some pretty bright fun colors though. I don't know. What do you guys think? Ideas? Anybody? Anybody? Definitely open for ideas. But that is day seven. And I am going to wrap that up and put that in the bag. And hopefully we can talk about a name tomorrow if, if me or if one of you lovelies comes up with something. <laughs> but that's all that I have for you today. Uh, we are expected, by the time you're seeing this, we are expected this afternoon to have the beginnings of apparently a massive blizzard. Uh, so I hopefully will have gotten to the store, gotten shopping done, so I don't have to worry about that because I can't go out my next day, for, that which, which would be shopping day, which is Sunday, that's Christmas. So, uh, I will go out um, today, as you're seeing this, tomorrow for me as I'm filming this. Because um, like at, at 1 o'clock, it's supposed to start snowing. 
And by, I think they said four, it's supposed to start like really snowing. Uh, so I need to like charge up the extra like battery powered lights that I have and make sure the flashlight is working. And I know I have candles, but it's going to be a bad night if the lights go out and it's going to be that cold. And hopefully the boys are nice and calm so we can just cuddle up. The last time the lights went out when it was cold, it was like me and Abby and we were snuggling because Abby was a good snuggler. Maverick would be a good snuggler. And like Otis is a good snuggler, but like separately, <laughs> unless they're calm. Like if they go to bed and they're caught and they're um sleepy, they're calm. That's good. But otherwise, so it's gonna be a crazy night. Um, so yeah, hopefully by the time it hits, I will have gotten out and done all the the shopping and done everything that needs to be done on my day off. And Michigan had I wasn't born yet, but my grandpa had told and my grandma had told me about the blizzard of seventy eight which was like terrible apparently. My grandpa, I do remember my grandpa had pictures of himself um, standing, like it was like his truck in the road and him standing in the road next to it and then where the like plows or, or whatever they had used to dig out the roads uh, had dug out the roads in, it was just this mountain that was so high. It had to have been twice as high as like him and his truck. Like it was just huge. And there was that much snow <laughs> just built up, which is insane. Um, people were saying, like my grandma would say that people used to try to like climb out of their second story window with snowshoes on and that seems really dangerous, but, and I don't know if they really did or it's just something she told me. I have no idea, but like, that's a lot of snow and some people, which they, they could be being dramatic. I don't know, but some people are saying that they, they're thinking this is going to be as bad as the blizzard of 78. And I'm like, I am, I am not, I like snow, but I like snow from inside and I like snow if I know I can, if I need to go outside that I can like get out. <laughs> um, especially if Damon's not living here anymore. Cause like, um, I don't know. I'm still not used to him not being here. So like, I want him accessible. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, usually if the lights go out, cause like David sleeps at different times than me and everything. So like I hang out with Damon. So like if the lights went out, but we could drive, it'd be fine. It's like, okay, David's asleep. I'm just going to go hang out with Damon or he can come over and hang out or whatever. But like if we can't get out because there's like mountains of snow, I couldn't even imagine just that would stink. <laughs> So, I guess we'll be chatting a lot. <laughs> uh, the last time they said we were going to have a really big blizzard, people were making it out to be just, it was, it's going to be so bad. It's, it's going to rival the blizzard of 78 and it's going to be so bad. And it literally was a dusting. Like, I don't even know if it was an inch of snow. So, I'm, I'm, as much as I do like to see snow, I'm kind of hoping that's all we'll get is just a little something and that's that's it i guess we'll see wish us luck um I, i'll let you know tomorrow if it has started snowing like crazy <laughs> um but it's supposed to yeah on my day off and then um i go back to work on friday and i i'm actually off on saturday i'm off on christmas eve which is different for me. I usually work Christmas Eve, so. But I still have to go out because Damon works Christmas Eve. So I'll have to go out in the snow anyway. <laughs> anyway. All right. I will actually go now, and I will talk to you guys later. Um, stay safe, especially if you are having crazy weather. And... Um, Stay safe anyway, even if you're not. And I love you guys. And thank you for sticking it out this long with me. Bye, guys.
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 